So you guys want to learn how to do borders in After Effects, but everyone keeps gatekeeping the settings. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to do them using the easiest method. And you guys, so I'm going to teach you how to do the regular um, open and closing borders. So you want to make sure you have your two clips ready to transition or whatever. And uh, you want to hit Control Y on your keyboard to create a sort of layer. And I'm just going to use black. So yes. So now you just want to cut it into place. And um, you want to enable motion blur so it's smooth and type in the effect CC Jaws. Okay, so now what you want to do is to make sure the height is on zero and then we're going to make the com uh, completion 100 and then click the stopwatch to create a keyframe and hit U on your keyboard to see the keyframes. And then we're going to head to the middle of um, well, the start of the second clip and we're going to make this 75 depending on how zoomed in you want you can just like decrease it but i'm just keeping it at 75 and then at the end what we want to do is to make this back to 100 so now when we replay it as you can see it's it looks okay but we can make this smoother so for the graph we can just highlight the keyframes right click keyframe assistant and easy ease and you guys can just move my graph right now oops okay so she looks like this. And around here. So here we go. So as you can see guys, uh, if we take a look at the our star graph, it looks way smoother. And um if you want it to be portrait, you can just go to direction and make this 90. So now it's like this, you know what I mean? So that's how you do it. Okay, we're now going to move on to the rotating borders. So what you can do is literally copy the same settings you used for the previous one onto the next one. And we're going to literally just keyframe the direction now. So you want to create a stopwatch for the direction. Hit you, go to the end and make this 135. And when we play it, as you can see, it looks weird because we need to add the graph. So you want to highlight this. Easy ease. Make sure your blue uh, marker thing is in the middle of the clip. So when you, you know, uh, so when you go to the um, graph, just uh, copy me and uh, you should be good to go. You can always adjust your graphs, guys. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. So now as you can see, it looks a bit better. I mean, um, yeah, this looks okay. But yeah, so depending how fast you want it, that's how you basically do the rotation one. Uh, what you can do for the rotation one is you can also add a rotation on your actual clips and it'll look majestic. We're now going to move on to the uh, flashing borders. And what you can do for this is literally, um, you have your main borders done, right? Which we did uh, first time. And uh, what you can do is you can uh, click Control D to duplicate this. And you want to go up here and go to layer and then click sort of the uh, settings and make this to whatever color you want. So if I wanted like blue, for example, and uh, just click new, as you can see, it looks weird now, but I'll fix it. What you want to do is to hit T on your opacity, make and make sure the hundred keyframes, like <laughs> the second keyframe. Bro, why did I lose my voice? Oh my gosh, I lost my voice. Meanwhile. So as I was saying, you want to make sure your 100% keyframe is on the second frame and on the first frame, you want to make this to zero. And then you want to like make um, the last keyframe zero to wherever you want it to end. So I just want it to end like on the first clip. So as you can see, it's it's starting to flash now, but we can make this smoother by um, adding a graph. So you just want to like highlight this keyframe easy and... Um, Copy my graph, guys. You can adjust it. So, 
and we'll put it right here. So like obviously the lower it is, the faster it will be, but yeah, I usually just keep it like that. As you can see guys, we have a flashing border. And you can just repeat the steps, but this is how to do borders and um, yeah. By the way guys, I also have a new editing bundle on my bay hip which includes all my rotations, basically all my presets which I use currently. Also, there's a summer sale going on for my old preset packs. You can use code WSGTU for 10% off. Obviously, you guys don't have to purchase it, but if you do, it really means a lot to me. Uh, thank you guys for the support, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Love you guys. Oh, also, yeah, comment down below.